Hello guys welcome to my channel, for today's video I will be recommending. 10 Manwara Manhua, where character travel back in time. So let's start the video. After so many years of cultivation, our protagonist finally reached the place called the Immortal Gate, but he did not succeed in crossing, because his heart was not clear, that it would interfere with the sixth sense. After failing to cross, he was sent back to Earth, when he was a college student. This is a cultivation story, similar to Rebirth of the Urban Immortal Cultivator. Our main character in the story is arrogant, and for the story it's not good, but it's still decent. And as a reader it's fun to read, when you just want to pass the time. Our main character is the most powerful god among all the immortals, who died at the hands of a despicable villain, and was brought back to the past, when he was a student, now that he has been given a second chance. He will change the regret he did in the past to change his life now. The story is not bad, passable enough to enjoy reading, but don't expect too much from it. Our main character goes back in time when a zombie is about to attack him. The story of our main character surviving in the apocalyptic world, and to get his revenge, this story has several chapters so far, but as far as I can see, the story is not bad. Our main character is well developed, and I hope this story will not be ruined by the new chapters that will come out. Our main character is a failure martial artist, after losing his danshan, he faces an unexpected death, and he was sent back to the past, and in this life he is not interested in the throne, instead he wants to leave the clan and live a rich life with his maids. Well the story is good, our main character is not overpowered. But I found this manhwa very enjoyable to read. It has good character development, and the story is really interesting to read. The story of our protagonist who traveled back in time to change history, to make his country a better country if you like kingdom building. You will definitely like this story, the plot is really interesting. The story changes every time he travels back in time, which is why this story is so good to read. So I highly recommend this to try reading it, if you haven't read it yet. Our main character is a C-rank mercenary, who accidentally discovers an undiscovered dungeon, after his hard work, he finds a small treasure chest, inside is a small stone, and this stone is the reason he regressed back to 13 years ago, when he was transported to another world for the first time. Sadly all of his past skills were lost but the memories of his past life were still there, and it was up to him how he would use them to his advantage. The pacing of this story is slow, our main character is not that strong, and every time he gets stronger, there will be another enemy stronger than him, I'm not saying it's bad, it's actually really interesting and enjoyable to read. The story of our main character succeeded in overthrowing the Tulkan Empire, and he is on the verge of death, after his heart stopped beating, he returned when he was 14 years old, for the second time in this life, he will fill all of his repentance. I can say that this manhwa is really fun to read. The story is delivered well, and the characters are well written. After failing to kill the dragon, our main character opens his eyes, and finds out that he was brought back from the past, when he was about to take an exam at Havrian Academy. Our main character story begins with his second time at the academy. Well the story is amazingly good, in my opinion it's fun to read, but it's really awesome if the main character is really well developed. 10 years ago, the world became a game. People become players to kill monsters to survive. The story of our main character, who alone clears a quest, and because of that he unlocks a shop. And in this shop there is an item called second chance package, that allows a player to start the game again. Our main character didn't think twice and bought the item, and then sends him back in time. And intends to change everything that happened in his life. It's a very awesome story, and has an overpowered main character. And although this world building looks like, it's from omniscient reader's point of view, it uses game elements rather than novel. The story of our main character receives a skill card, which allows him to copy the skill of his opponent, 
however he has to die at the hands of the person he wants to copy. You will wonder why this man was in the video, because the first person who killed him, and the first skill he got was from the Flame Emperor. The Returner's Clockwork Watch. A skill that can return user to 24 hours prior after death. To take revenge the main character, decided to go back in time, when the Flame Emperor had not awakened yet. To do that our crazy main character, kill himself 4050 times exactly days, when Flame Emperor had not awakened yet just to get revenge. This story is one of my favorite to read. The plot is good and the story is well executed. And there is a little mystery when it comes to the quest or mission. So if you haven't read it yet, I highly recommend trying to read it now. And that's the end of the video, but before ending this video, for more recommendations and updates then please check out my other social media platforms, link is in the description. So I hope you find something to read there and see you in my next video.